what asthma mate the Easter Bunny got there on his tray? Yep. A fruly. Strawberry beer, 4.1%. There it is. It's a fruly. Well, hello there. I'm not going to say perfect drafters, although the vast majority of you probably are. What I am going to say, though, is welcome. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different and not have a perfect draft keg. Sorry about that, but I've only got in stock, and this is the lowest I've been in stock since I actually purchased the machine. And I've got in stock a Ho Garden Rosé, or Rose. Basically, it's a summer drink. And I'm thinking, I'm not having that now. Not having it. So, for the first time, and it's coming up to a year, I will have to do a year of having the perfect draft video. But it's coming up to a year, and I think it's the first time. It's the first time it's off. So, let's hope it comes back on again. It better. I've put an order in. Do not fret. There will be kegs en route. I'm recording this a few days before, obviously, it goes out. And I do believe today there is a new keg being released. This being, I think now Friday the 12th, this is going out. But accounting on the old fingers. So, yeah, I think there is a new keg. I think there has been a new keg released this morning, this afternoon, whenever, but today. So might have to put two orders in there. Thus, bringing the stock levels back up to quantity as needed. But anyway, I thought I'd just whip something out of the beer fridge and give that a review so that I'd still put a review out this Friday. And when I had a look, there was one bottle that struck the eye that made me reminisce that was one of the first beers that I actually had that wasn't a standard lager. And me and my mate, we met one night in the Rutland and Derby in Leicester. I think it's still there. But it was one of the first pubs to have a lot of different beers on tap. A lot of different beers. I think, I think, and people can correct me, people from Leicester, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it had the most beer taps in Leicester at one point. Probably still has. It was literally a smorgasbord of beer taps. A plethora. A menagerie. Whatever collective term that you want to throw at it, it was that. It was a lot of beer taps. And some good ones as well. But one, one really struck the eye. It was like... That one looks a little bit of a belter. Nice big old tap, a lot of red on it, and it just said fruity, strawberry beer. And we thought, let's have something a bit different. We're bored of this standard lager stuff. Don't think we ever liked it. Let's have something a bit different. So I said, let's go for that. We asked for it. We said, can we have two of your fruities? They poured it. This luscious, luscious red liquid just came out that tap. And we was thinking, it's pretty good. I think my nostrils were about 30 centimetres away. And I could smell that strawberry. Those strawberry fumes were going up the nostrils. And I was thinking, this is going to be a beauty. They handed it over. We had a sop. And my word, were those eyebrows raised? Yes, they were. It was like a revelation. It like the taste buds were tingling. And it was like, this is just... Fine, this is really good. Because we had it and it was something a bit different, we probably took it a little bit far. I set up a website within a couple of weeks called frulybeer.com. It was the unofficial Fruly Beer fan website. And we went on Fruly Trails. So we went round Leicester for a start, found about three pubs that did Fruly. So we had to have a couple in each. That was the first Fruly Trail. Then we did one round Nottingham. Then we identified a load of pubs in London that sold Fruly. The first one that we went in was called the Lansdowne. We went in there and I think it was the first time that I'd ever handed over a crisp five pound note for a pint of anything. 
So that was a bit of an eye-opener. Actually, I think it was a tenner because I was having one each. Wasn't supping out the same pint glass. I think we found that night probably five or six pubs with Fruley on draft. Some of them, some of the pubs we went in, which we had heard sold Fruley, we went in, asked them if they did Fruley, and if they said no, we just walked out. We actually missed out on some very nice bars because our one commitment to the cause was going on a Fruley trail. So that's what we did. I went back, documented it all on the website, written it all up, written it, wrote it all up, and it actually got a few hits, to be fair. If I can find it on Wayback Time Machine, let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, good times, good times. We had people sending us photos of themselves drinking Fruley. It was a good old thing. Yeah, worked quite well. In fact, it got that much popularity that the person that actually was bringing Fruley to the UK, and I think it was he was working for a business, or actually owned the business. I think it was like Speciality Beers or something like that. And his name was Dick Humphreys. And I don't know how he got our telephone number. Don't know how he did. But he phoned us up. And he was an absolute top bloke. I mean, proper, authentic, British kind of... British, British voice, you know, hello, Dick Humphreys here, face of Fruley, top man, top man, and for a start, I thought, I'm in trouble here, because I've got their branding all over my website, and haven't got the authority to use it, so, yeah, bit dodge, but no, he wanted to meet, so we said, let's meet in the Rutland and Derby Arms, so we did, we met in the Rutland and Derby Arms, in walks Dick, with his frilly belt and braces on. What a fella. What a chap. Sits down and he goes, I like your frilly beer website. You shouldn't just be doing the unofficial one. Can you do the official one as well? So I did. I did frilly.co.uk. So it was back in the day and it looked all right. I've got to be honest, not sure what happened to it after a while. That's why whenever I see a frilly now, I reminisce to the good old days of those frilly trails and the Fruity Beer website. Absolute joy of a time. And we had some good laughs doing those Fruity Trails. That was a bit of a story, but that's life. Skip it if you don't want to listen to my stories. So I've got to admit, I've obviously tried this beer before. I've had it both out of bottle. We've obviously had it off draft because we did those Fruity Trails. But I'm going to have it again. I'm going to have it again, do a little pour of it, give another reaction of it, let you know what I think just while I'm supping it. Then I'll have some snackage. So let's pour out a Fruley. So I think a first on this channel is a bottle opening. Wowzers. So here we go. That's what she looks like. Now I'm sure you used to be able to get bigger bottles than this. Sure, I just seem to recall it. You used to be able to get proper, you know, proper, as if it's not proper when it's not a pint. But you know, anyway, this is 33CL, pound eighty in Tesco's. One of those that I think you can overlook, um, just because it doesn't stand out from the branding, I don't think, uh, but it looks interesting. Premium Belgian white fruit beer, Fruley. Strawberry beer, 4.1%. So it is from the Van Dyche Company, so I'm sure many of you have heard of Delirium as well, so they also do that. Obviously a top quality brewery, because that's good. This is good. I'm not going to say anything other than that. So, you know, that's just the way it is. <laughs> I can't. It'll be like betraying my roots. Betraying my roots. My strawberry roots. Fruity.be looks like the website now. They're not promoting my defunct fruity.co.uk, which is lucky because it's defunct. Let's open her up. Got my Homer Simpson. <laughs> Doesn't work. So as soon as you open it, what a strawberry whiff. What a strawberry whiff, huh? So let's pour it. Let's see, see what we can do here. Let's, I'm going to just spin a little bit. So there we go. Shame it's not a pint, but such is life. Such is life. Look at him. Got loads of bulbs. I mean, that is bulbs. That's probably the most bulbs we've had on the Big Bold Reviews channel. A lot of bulbs, but I've never had a bottle before. 
So where we go, lovely little pink header to it as well. Header, lovely little pink head to it as well. But the smell, I don't normally smell my beers. I'm not a cocky blighter, and normally I'm like, you know, just I just taste it. I just taste it. You know, I'm not there going. I'm getting oak, getting oak, getting licorice. The but that the strawberry bang in your face, in your face. Now, off draft, this is an absolute pleasure. It really is. I'm just thinking of some of the Leicester pubs that used to do it. Probably still do, so worth checking out. The Terrace did. Um, Barbara Sells did. Uh, obviously, the Rutland and Derby did. So, some quality ones there. Just, just honestly, having a Fruley in hand brings back so many memories, so many good memories. Let's have a taste. Sorry. Let's have a taste, but cheers. Cheers. It is sweet. It's your sweetest fruit beer you'll probably get. If you like a creek, something like that, that's a cherry beer. And yeah, you know, there's there's a certain amount of almost bitterness to them as well as the sweetness to those beers. And you can taste more of a beer. This, you can't taste a lot of beer in this, to be quite honest. It is pure strawberry juice. It's like strawberry juice, but... It's got a bit of alcohol in there, obviously. I mean, it's only 4.1% as well. So it's not a massive ABV, but yeah, it's just strawberry. It is proper strawberry. You know, if you froze that, if you froze that, I don't know if you can, but if you did, that would be a strawberry sorbet. It would. Absolutely beautiful. One for those with a sweet tooth, for sure. Absolutely for sure. And if you are someone that's watching this and generally don't like beer, and you're still watching now, give it a go. Give it a go. Why not? Because, you know, it doesn't really taste that much like beer. It tastes like a strawberry sorbet in a glass, and it's an absolute pleasure. I haven't seen it on draft for a while, I've got to admit, but if you do see it on draft, please, please give it a go and let me know what you think to it. Now, on those fruity trails, admittedly, we were going from pub to pub, so you have a bit of time in between. We'd probably have a couple in a pub, um, but I think, you know, we did rack up the number of fruities of a night. Now, just like back in the day when you had the old Smirnoff Ice, yeah, or the Blue Wickets and stuff like that, when you're in clubs and things and you're firing down the bottles because they're a bit easier to drink, your teeth, they're aching in the morning. They're like, like you think, you think of that, I mean, I ain't got the best teeth, but you think they're going to fall out. Now... This is that sweet and probably that sugary, because it's got a lot of sugar in that. You can just tell it has. It is very similar. Your, your teeth probably ache a bit. So, you know, give your teeth a good brush before you go to bed. It's a good tip. <laughs> yeah, it's a belter. Give it a go. Let me know what you think to it. Let, obviously, a lot of people have probably had this already. It's been out there many a year. So uh, what did you think to the Fruley? What did you think? Let me have a bit of snackage. So someone suggested this, obviously to have with a perfect draft keg, but I'm on the fruity and I'm smiling. And what I've got is a Sensations Street Mix inspired by Mumbai. Indian style crackers, curried peanuts, black pepper rice sticks, spiced onion coated peanuts. It's got the lot. It's from Mumbai. Well, it's not. It's from Walkers. It's a mix of peanuts, rice snacks, and coated peanuts with Indian-inspired flavours. So you're looking at 106 grams. You're looking at about £2.50. So not the cheapest of snackage. 
I got this and another one. Mexi Mexico Spice Mix, something like that. So I will review that as well on the next one. Um, 106 grams, let's crack in. Okay, so I'm hoping for big things with the whiff. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I did have a curry the other night. It was a belter. And this, just the whiff of that, is bringing back memories of that curry, which isn't a bad thing, of the actual eating of the curry. Not memories of the next day, which was a bad thing. That smells good. Yeah, so we've got some sticks in there. Let's get a stick cluster combo. Yeah, nice. And a few more clusters. One of those peanuts with a stick. I think I like the um, gently seasoned black pepper rice sticks the best. Indian style crackers are all right. Curried peanuts with a hint of coriander are nice. And then the spiced onion peanuts. Now, one of them there, I was just about to say, it could do with being a bit spicier, a bit more of a kick. One of them has got a bit more of a kick, I think. So I'm gonna have to go individual. It's not the rice cracker. It's not the spiced onion peanut. It's not the rice stick. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I just ate one that had a bit more flavour than the others. Seemed to get a kick, but then trying all individually, I think they could all do with a bit more of a kick. But nice, good beer snack. Definitely a good beer snack. Nice dryage of the mouth before obviously going in for a sup, but not over dryage. You know, I'm not talking corn puffs. Whew. I don't know if you can remember me doing those corn puffs, but they, they literally shriveled me up with that drying. But these, these are good. These are good, very snackable. You know, you could fire that all down and it won't do you any good, but yeah. You could fire them down quite easily. And I bet you these go very nice with a Fruity. That is good. That is a good combo. Get yourself a Fruity and a bag of Sensation Street Mix inspired by Mumbai. They are a good combo. The strawberry sweetness with the spiciness of that, that's a winner. I mean, you're talking £4.30 for that, but hey, treat yourself on a Saturday night. Good win. Right, so in terms of ratings, a Fruly, there's no other grade for me to give it other than a 10. <laughs> it just, I couldn't do anything else. Those are a surprising nice beer snack. Especially with that. I'm gonna give them a nine. I am. I often do like it a bit too spicy at times. And sometimes that can ruin the flavour of the beer. But this and this together, I mean, that's probably come up a bit lucky because it's been tried with a Fruly, but hey, out of 20, we're talking 19 people. So I haven't got the kegs yet, but I'm thinking Beck's Gold may well be amongst it. I did ask for some recommendations. So anyway. If you want to see those videos, plus some of my videos on the bar build, please subscribe, give this video a like, have a cracking weekend, people. Enjoy whatever you're doing. Until next time, cheers. Have a good one.